Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about lipids and I'm following the notes from the LG Red Organic Chemistry textbook and the chapter in that book is 25, that's why it's 25 there. What you will learn in this video is to classify simple and complex lipids, identify rexes, triglycerides, phospholipids, steroids, prostaglandins and terpenes. Explain how unsaturations affect the properties of fats and oils. Compare the properties of saturated fats with those of polyunsaturated oils and partially hydrogenated vegetable oils. Number three, you will learn predict the reactions of lipids under basic hydrolysis and with standard organic reagents. Number four, compare soaps and detergents and explain how they emulsify nonpolar substances in water. So this is the goal, this is the target that we will achieve in this video. But maybe I'll make uh, two goals in this video and next two goals in the next video. But we will see. That's the introduction. What, I, what do the following have in common? An athlete is disqualified from the Olympics for illegal use of anabolic steroids. You spray a bread pan with canola oil to keep the bread from sticking. Your mother is rushed surgery to remove a gallbladder packed with cholesterol you wax your shiny new car with Caranova wax your father is treated with prostaglandin to lower his blood pressure an artist uses turpentine to thin her brush after painting the brilliant autumn colors what is common in all of these all these actions involve the use of miss uh, all these actions involve the use misuse are manipulation of lipids, steroids, uh, uh, manipulation of lipids, steroids, prostaglandins, fats, oil, waxes, terpenes, and even the colorful carotenes in the falling leaves are all lipids. In our study of organic chemistry, we have usually classified compounds according to their functional groups. Lipids, however, are classified by their solubility. Lipids are substances that can be extracted from cells and tissues by nonpolar organic solvents. So lipids are classified based on their solubility and lipids are extracted from cells and tissues by nonpolar organic solvents such as benzene. Lipids include many types of compounds containing a wide variety of functional groups. You could also easily prepare a solution of lipids by grinding a T-bone stick in a blender and then extracting the puree with chloroform or diethyl ether. The resulting solution of lipids would contain a multitude of compounds, many with complex structures. To facilitate the study of lipids, chemists have divided this large family into two major classes, complex lipids and simple lipids. What are complex lipids? Complex lipids are those that are easily hydrolyzed to simpler constituents. Uh, most complex lipids are esters of long chain carboxylic acids called fatty acids. The two major groups of fatty acid esters are waxes and glycerides. Waxes are esters of long chain alcohols and glycerides are esters of glycerol. So complex lipids have further two types, waxes and glycerides, and waxes are long chain alcohols, while glycerides are, glycerides are esters of glycerol. Next, we are going to discuss the um, simple lipids. Uh, simple lipids are those that are not easily hydrolyzed by aqueous acid or base. This term often seems inappropriate because many so-called simple lipids are quite complex molecules. We will consider three important groups of simple lipids, steroids, prostaglandins, and terpenes. Figure 21, uh, 25.1 shows some examples of complex and simple lipids. So this is a figure 25.1. Examples of lipids. Complex lipids contain ester functional groups that can be hydrolyzed into acids and alcohols. Simple lipids are not easily hydrolyzed. So examples of complex lipids, these are the esters, as you can see, this is the ester linkage, carbon double bond oxygen, single bond oxygen. This is a triesterine aphate and spermestecetal palmitate a wax. So glycerides and waxes are examples of complex lipids, whereas steroids and terpenoids are examples of simple lipids. 
so this is cholesterol a steroid alpha pinene a terpene these are examples of simple lipids so then we are discussing the waxes plant leaves often have a wax coating to prevent excessive loss of water so waxes are esters of long chain fatty acids with long chain alcohols they occur widely in nature and serve a number of purposes in plants and animals such as spermacity figure 25.1 which was this one uh, found in the head of the sperm uh, well probably helps to regulate the animal's buoyancy for deep diving it may also serve to amplify high frequency sound for locating prey bees wax is a mixture of waxes hydrocarbons and alcohols that be bees use to form their honeycomb carnauba wax is a mixture of waxes of very high molecular weights the carnauba plant secretes this waxy material to coat its leaves to prevent excessive loss of water by evaporation waxes are also found in the protective coatings of insects exoskeletons mammals fur and birds feathers in contrast to these waxes the paraffin wax used to seal preserves is not a true wax rather it is a mixture of high molecular weight alkanes a component of bees wax this is the structure which is present in bees wax and a component of caranoba wax for many years natural waxes were used in making cosmetics adhesives varnishes and uh, waterproofing materials synthetic materials have now replaced natural waxes for most of these uses now let's see what are uh, triglycerides and uh, triglycerides are simply fatty acid esters of the triglycerides the most common glycerides are triglycerides triacylglycerols in which all three of the of the glycerol OH groups have been esterified by fatty acids for example triesterine figure 25.1 that's that's the one this is the triesterine of fat is a component of beef fat in which all three OH groups of glycerol are esterified by stearic acid this is the formula of stearic acid most which contains 16 CH2 units 1 CH3 and COOH most naturally occurring triglycerides are mixed triglycerides containing two or three different fatty acids triglycerides are commonly called fats if they are solid at room temperature and oils if they are liquid at room temperature most triglycerides derived from mammals are fats such as beef tallow or lard although these fats are solid at room temperature the warm body temperature of the living animals keeps them somewhat fluid allowing for movement in plants and cold blooded animals triglycerides are generally oils such as corn oil peanut oil or fish oil a fish requires liquid oils rather than solid fats because it would have difficulty moving of its triglycerides solidified whenever it swam in a cold stream Fats and oils are commonly used for long-term energy storage in plants and animals. Fat is a more efficient source of long-term energy than carbohydrates because metabolism of a gram of fat releases over twice as much energy as gram of sugar or starch. An average 70 kg adult male stores about 4000 kJ, about 100 1000 kcal of readily available uh energy as glycogen. or 0.2 kg and about 60 6.6 power 5 kg about of long term energy as fat 15 kg enough to supply his resting metabolic needs for nearly 3 months the fatty acids of common triglycerides are long unbranched carboxylic acids with about 12 to 20 carbon atoms most fatty acids contain even numbers of carbon atoms because they are derived from two carbon acetic acid units some of the common fatty acids have been have saturated carbon chains while others have one or more carbon double bonds table 25.1 shows the structure of some common fatty acids this is the table 25.1 and the structures and melting points of some common fatty acids is given in this table These are the saturated as fatty acids. One is lauric lauric acid, which contains twelve carbons. Another one is myristic acid, which contains fourteen carbons. 
and another one is palmitic acid which contains 16 carbons another is stearic acid which contains 18 carbons and another one is archidic acid which contains 20 carbons these are the structure this one is a structure of lauric acid which has melting point of 44 this one is a structure of myristic acid which has melting point 59 palmitic acid structure which contains a uh, melting point 64 a stearic acid melting point 70 and arachidic acid content melting point 76. One thing that can be noted from this is the number of carbon chain increases, the melting point also increases. They are called acid because they contain C double O H group in all of these compounds. The next class of uh, fatty acids is unsaturated fatty acids, oleic acid, which contains 18 carbons. There's a double bond there. Linoleic acid which contains 18 carbons again Linolenic acid which contains 18 carbons but 3 double bonds Oleosteric acid which contains 18 carbons but 3 double bonds They are different configuration and different position Archidonic acid which contains 20 carbons but different uh, 4 double bonds So the difference in these uh, unsaturated fatty acids is due to the double bond In oleic acid there is 1 double bond and it has melting point of just 4 and linoleic acid contains two double bonds having melting point of minus 5. Linolenic acid which has three double bonds having melting point of minus 11. Oleosteric acid which also has three double bonds but their configuration E and Z is different than the linolenic one and that melting point is 49. Archidonic acid has all cis double bonds, four double bonds but cis configuration they have a melting point of minus 49 so these are the some common uh, examples of fatty acids table 25.1 shows that saturated fatty acids have melting points that increase gradually with their molecular weight the presence of a cis double bond lowers the melting point however notice that the 18 carbon saturated acid stearic acid has a melting point of 70 degree while the 18 carbon with a cis double bond oleic acid has a melting point of 4. This lowering of the melting point results from unsaturated acids kink at the position of the double bond. Kinked molecules cannot pack as tightly together in a solid as the uniform zigzag chains of saturated acid. This is a steric acid having melting point of 70 degree. Here is a kink present in oleic acid which contains double bond. That's why its melting point is 4 degrees centigrade. A second double bond lowers the melting point further. A linoleic acid has melting point of minus 5 degrees centigrade and a third double bond lowers it still further. Linolenic acid has melting point of minus 11. The trans double bonds in ileosteric acid has melting point 49 have a similar effect on the melting point than the cis double bond of linolenic acid. The geometry of a trans double bond is similar to the zigzag conformation of saturated acid so it does not kink the chain as much as a cis double bond. The melting points of fats and oils also depend on the degree of unsaturation, especially cis double bonds in their fatty acids. A triangle slide derived from saturated fatty acids has a higher melting point because it takes more easily into a solid lattice than a triangle slide derived from kinked unsaturated fatty acids. Figure 25.3 shows typical conformations of triangle slide containing saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. Triesterine is a saturated fat that packs well in a solid lattice. Triolene, melting point of minus 4 degrees centigrade, has the same number of carbon atoms as triesterine, but triolene has three cis double bonds, causing kinked conformation that prevent optimum packing in the solid. So, this is tri triesterine having melting point of 32. There's no double bond in it, it packs perfectly in the lattice form, but whereas in triolene, there are double bonds, some of them are cis and they are kinked and hence doesn't pack quite well. That's why the melting point is just minus 4 degrees centigrade compared to triesterine which has 72 degrees centigrade. Most unsaturated triangle strides are fats because they are solid at room temperature. Most triangle strides with several unsaturations are oils because they are liquid at room temperature. The term polyunsaturated simply means there are several double bonds in the fatty acids of the triangle slide. 
Most naturally occurring fats in oils are mixtures of triglycerides containing a variety of saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. Even the individual triglycerides are often mixed containing two or three different fatty acids. In general, oils from plants and cold-blooded animals contain more unsaturations than fats from warm-blooded uh, animals. Table 25.2 gives the approximate composition of the fatty acids obtained from hydrolysis of some common fats and oil. Hydrogenation of uh, triglycerides trans fats. For many years, lard, a soft white solid obtained by rendering pig fat, was commonly used for cooking and baking. Although vegetable oil could be produced more cheaply and in greater quantities, consumers were unwilling to use vegetable oils because they were accustomed to using white creamy lard. Then vegetable oils were treated with hydrogen gas and a nickel catalyst, reducing some of the double bonds to give a creamy white vegetable shortening that resembles lard. This partially hydrogenated vegetable oil largely replaced lard for cooking and baking. Margarine is a similar material with butyl aldehyde added to give it a taste like that of a butter. More recently, consumers have learned that polyunsaturated vegetable oils may be more healthful, prompting many to switch to natural vegetable oils. Consumers are also concerned with the presence of unnatural trans fatty acids in partially hydrogenated vegetable oil. During the hydrogenation process, the catalyst lowers the activation energy of both the forward hydrogenation and reverse dehydrogenation processes. The naturally occurring cis double bonds in vegetable oils end can hydrogenate and the products can dehydrogenate. The double bonds end up in random positions with either cis or trans stereochemistry. The white creamy product has fewer double bonds overall but some of the remaining double bonds may be in positions or stereochemical configuration that do not occur in nature. The FDA now requires listing the amounts of trans fats, fats containing trans fatty acids. One food labels and several national and local governments have banned or restricted the use of partially hydrogenated vegetable oils containing trans fats. Here is the list of fatty acid composition of some fats and oils percent by weight. So beef fat has zero lauric acid, six myristic acids, 27 palmitic, 14 steric, 49 oleic, linolic 2, linolenic 0. Lard has 0 lauric, 1 meristic, 24 palmitic, 9 steric, and 47 oleic, and uh, linolic, linolic 10. Uh, and linolenic 0. Human fat, lauric 1, myristic 3, palmitic 27, steric 8, oleic 48, linolic 10, and linolenic 0. Herring oil has 1, uh, has 0, 5, 14, 3, 0, 0, 30, and so on and so forth. So linseed oil, canola oil, soya bean oil, olive oil. Olive oil is considered best because it contains 0 lauric acid. 0.1 myristic acid, 7 palmitic acid, and 2, uh, two stearic acid, oleic acid of 84, linolenic, linolic acid 5, and linolenic 2. Trans esterification of fats and oils to biodiesel. Most uh, diesel engines can run on cooking oil once they are warm but cooking oil is not sufficiently volatile to start a cold diesel engine. A base catalyzed trans esterification using methanol as the alcohol and sodium hydroxide as the catalyst converts fats and oils to the methyl esters of the three individual fatty acids with molecular weights about a third of the original triglyceride. These methyl, methyl esters are more volatile and work well in diesel engines. The mixtures of fatty acid methyl esters is called biodiesel. This is a triglyceride which reacts with methanol and sodium hydroxide that is trans esterification to give you methyl, methyl esters biodiesel and glycerol. Biodiesel potentially offers environmental advantages over conventional diesel fuel 
most important it converts waste waste cooking oil into a useful product reducing the amount of waste going into landfills and replacing some of the petroleum that must be burned also biodiesel comes from the biomass that has been recently synthesized from atmospheric carbon dioxide so the cycle of its production and use might not add as much carbon dioxide to the atmosphere as does the burning of petroleum based diesel fuels Several countries have enacted laws mandating the use of biodiesel in blended diesel fuels, hoping to slow the increase in atmospheric carbon dioxide that is thought to contribute to global warming. But complex problems rarely have such simple solutions. The supply of waste fats and oils is not enough to produce the biodiesel required by these laws. Converting new food grade fats and oils to biodiesel is economically unsound because food grade oils sell for several times the price of diesel fuel fuel suppliers have turned to the world market for vegetable oils encouraging the clearing of rainforest in tropical countries to produce palm oil and soybean oil for transesterification to biodiesel next we will be discussing saponification of fats and oils and formation of soaps and detergents in next video thanks for watching take care bye